Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Ariel. This is a collaboration between Define Me Fragrances and Disney, and it's celebrating the 30th anniversary of The Little Mermaid. So if you'd like to know what I think about this fragrance, thank you. For transparency purposes, they did uh, provide this for free for me to review, so a humongous thank you to Define Me Fragrances. I was actually really excited to learn about this scent because I am a huge lover of The Little Mermaid, and obviously I'm a huge lover of fragrance, so when I found out two of my favorite things in the world were combining to create, uh, to be created into something that I can wear and enjoy, I was super duper excited. So a little bit about Define Me Fragrance. They are a women-owned indie niche brand. This bottle is $88, so it is not crazy expensive. It is um, a little bit more affordable than other designer scents, and I find it to be really beautiful and unique. I'm gonna get a little bit more into where you can purchase this, uh, but I did want to review the fragrance for you guys. I don't want this video to be too long. So this fragrance has notes of neroli and bergamot. It also has driftwood, coconut, lilac, tonka bean, and jasmine. This fragrance I would describe as being a very aquatic aromatic fragrance. It doesn't smell overtly gimmicky, it does smell like something really beautiful like beachy skin like after you've taken a shower and you're going out to eat and you're just having a good time and you can still kind of smell the beach on your skin. I find that to be really impressive because a lot of times when it comes down to fragrances that are inspired by characters or movies or memories, sometimes they can get lost or they can be overtly thought out like, oh, this is a mermaid scent, so this should smell really like the ocean, really like this, and really sweet, and it should appeal to this, this, this. I find this fragrance just smells beautiful. Like, even if it wasn't Ariel, I think if I smelled this, I would still really like it and want to wear it. It smells just like beautiful, uh, salt water kissed clean skin, and there's something really attractive about that. Now, first things first, uh, the bottle is really cute. I also like how it has a little mermaid tail. It is in no way like overtly aerial. It is like an inspired bottle. I do like that the bottle looks like something that she might have on her vanity to wear to remind herself of growing up in the ocean. I think that's really very cute. The scent of this though is really beautiful. So I love the fact that the opening citrus notes are bright, but they're not sweet. Bergamot's more of a creamy citrus if you think about Earl Grey tea. And Neroli again is that really beautiful kind of like bitter orange blossom uh, scent. I think if it was orange blossom, it would be a little bit too sweet. I like the fact that there's other florals in here, but the real star of the show, I have a feeling you're gonna be surprised by is the coconut. Now the coconut is not sweet. It doesn't smell creamy. It doesn't smell fruity. It adds this little bit of a tropical feel of a beachy transportive feel to the scent without overpowering or destroying the integrity of this very aromatic fragrance. And I would describe the safe fragrance as being aromatic. And I love that. It's got these woods, it's got these really beautiful, very specific florals and that really beautiful bright opening. And it almost smells somewhat salty without any type of salty note in there. But the coconut slightly softens everything and kind of helps everything work together beautifully with that little tiny bit of coconut in the background, which kind of adds again that kind of beautiful beachy feel without it being way too gimmicky. The coconut's kind of hard to smell. You really have to look for it. And I think that's why it's the star of the show and it works so well because coconut can easily be overpowering and in no way is it overpowering in the scent. Now the performance of this fragrance, it gets about four hours on my skin and I would say the first two hours it has moderate projection and then it becomes more intimate a little bit longer that you wear it. So it has mild projection and sillage. Overall, this fragrance also doesn't smell feminine. It smells very unifex, may, unisex, maybe leaning a little bit more on the feminine side, but believe it or not, this scent smells like something men or women can wear. It definitely smells universal like that. It smells like a beautifully put together unisex aquatic aromatic fragrance that anyone can wear, man or woman, young or old. It's really quite versatile. And at the same time, it just has this like little beauty and this beautiful kind of 
tribute to an amazing classic movie from Disney. I don't know. I'm just really a fan of the scent. I knew when I read the notes, I was really excited. I was worried about that coconut note and it really wowed me. So I just have to say that overall, I was really impressed with this fragrance. And if I smelled it in the store, I would definitely buy it. I also love the idea that Disney is creating and working with people to create real substantial olfactive art as tributes to their classic movies. I'm really quite um, tickled by that. And I'm really honored to be able to review Ariel for you guys. Now, you can buy this at shopdisney.com or definemefragrances.com. It is also available at the Disney store in New York. However, because of current times, it's probably much easier and much safer to get it online currently. So definitely check out those sites. I'm gonna have two links below to both of those places, but for transparency purposes, those are not, and I mean not affiliate links. I get nothing if you shop there, so do not worry, friends. In any case, guys, if you've had a chance to try this fragrance and you like it or dislike it, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any experience with other Disney scents or Define Me fragrances, I'd love to know what you guys think. Again, good or bad, let me know in the comment section below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.